Hey guys, so if I look a little different, it's because I do. I, As you can see, I got my hair done. And it looks a little bit crazy just because I don't put heat to it. This is all of like my natural curl. Sometimes I'll put heat to it, but very, very rarely. And that's because I do want the color to stay in as long as it can. I've already had this for, I want to say maybe two Three weeks already now so the purple the lighter purple has faded already but it's supposed to be dark blue light purple and then a dark purple on the ends but there's a lot of color going on here and as you can see it's even faded into a pretty like kind of greenish aqua color and you can definitely definitely see the lighter purple when I lift it up like this. I just love it so much even with my natural curl and my hair looks humongous but <laughs> whatever right I love it and I'm going to continue to do crazy colors because I've always wanted to ever since I was a teenager. It's not like this is a spur of the moment thing. This is something that I've been wanting to do for like all of my life almost and I finally found the right um hairdresser that can do it N nothing wrong with the hairdresser that I had before it's just um she was a little bit uncomfortable doing my hair color with all of these colors and I just found someone that was you know um professional in the hair like the crazy hair colors so I'm excited to do more experiments with my hair but this is a Bath and Body Works haul. This is my very first Bath and Body Works haul. I haven't bought anything from Bath and Body Works in like years. The last thing I bought something from Bath and Body Works was just like a little tiny room spray. <laughs> and it was like 12 bucks or something. But yeah, they had a ma uh, they're having a major sale right now. So I bought a ton of candles. I bought like six candles. Well, my mom bought some and then I bought some and she has one that's burning already or that we burned um last night and it smells so good so i'm just gonna go ahead and get started this is the of course the humongous bag <laughs> i have some more goodies in there to show you as well because it's a sale but the first one that i'm going to start off with is kind of more of a um simple one the vanilla bean I think a lot of people have this one. It's just your typical vanilla scent. Uh, it smells really good though. I can definitely smell the vanilla note in here. And this is definitely going in my bathroom. So that is vanilla bean and it's really pretty. It's just a white, pure white candle. And then the one that we burned last night was the whipped coffee and this smells really good I feel like when you burn this I feel like I'm at a Starbucks and it smells so good Ugh. I definitely smell like whipped like kind of a almost like a whipped cream kind of scent with the coffee mixed in so yeah, really, really good right here. And then, um, this one is okay. This one's my mom's. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of this one, but this one is vanilla and peach tea. Peach tea, sweet vanilla cream, fresh oat milk with essential oils, and the whipped cream one or the whipped coffee one with shot of espresso, whipped sweet cream, that's what I smell. I smell the whipped sweet cream. I get the foam a lot of the times on my uh, lattes just for that extra like oomph sometimes when I need it. And sugar crystals with essential oils. I definitely smell the whipped like foam uh, smell or the whipped cream smell with a shot of espresso. The whipped coffee is really good. But this one is vanilla and peach tea 
I definitely smell more peach and then I smell more of like a green tea with this one. I don't get a lot of vanilla. I just smell more peach and then the tea. It kind of smells like the white iced tea from Starbucks. Peach tea. I think that's what I smell, the peach tea. Sweet vanilla cream, fresh oat milk with essential oils. But yeah, it smells good. It's just not really my kind of scent. Now on to the coconut cream pie. And I love the packaging to this. It's so cute with like the little, um, little coconuts and some cake. Some like little cake stuff there. Yeah, coconut cream pie. Toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard. Oh, golden pie crust with essential. I think these all have essential oils. Oh, it definitely smells like more of a cake. Like I smell that bakery scent more than the coconut. So yeah, I definitely smell more of that. I think the caramel. And I definitely smell like kind of a pie crust smell. But not so much the coconut. I think I just kind of smell vanilla in the cake in here. Now, my favorite. When we went to the Bath and Body Works store, it smelled so good. I thought I was walking into a cold stone creamery. Um, and that was, they had lit in there a strawberry pound cake. Look at how cute the, little, the packaging is. This literally smells like just, uh, what does that smell like? It actually smells like uh, the cookie dough ice cream from uh, Cold Stone, and then when you put like little strawberries in it. Oh, that smells really good. Let's read the notes on here. So um, you have fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream with essential oils. I think I really, it's heavy on the cream and the strawberry. So I think I'm more so smelling uh, the cream and the strawberry. But this is definitely my favorite. If you're going to get anything from the sale, I would definitely pick this up. It'll, it'll smell up your whole room. Probably smell up the whole house <laughs> in a good way. All right, now into the goodie bag. Um, I got a couple of hand sanitizers. Well, we got a lot of hand sanitizers, but um, they're all over the place because we just put them all in our purses and we gave some to my cousins because my cousins came with us. And this one is a citrus and aloe, which I'm not really a fan of citrus, but I actually smell more of the aloe oil in here. It's not really that citrusy, it just kind of smells more like cucumber, which I know cucumber is citrus, but it's more soft than like a peach or an orange or a lemon. Yeah, I definitely, it smells more cucumbery, which I like. I like, I would rather have cucumber than like a full on orange on my hand. Now this one is lemon. I don't, like I said, I don't care much for lemon. I definitely, yeah, this smells, why am I showing like you guys can smell it? Um, but yeah, this is the lemon and sunshine hand sanitizer. And I think I have in there like a lilac something in my purse. Could be wrong. And we got a little uh, hand spray, antibacterial hand spray. And this is the cucumber lily, which I'll like because, like, like I said, I like cucumber. Oh, it's definitely more. <laughs> don't get any in your 
definitely more floral. Yeah, I smell more of the lily than the um, than cucumber. So this is, if you don't like floral scents and they give you a headache like they do me, I would stay away from this because this is pretty strong and you'll be smelling it on your hands all day. Now, on to the soaps. This one, I'm surprised that I like because it's a peach one, but it's a peach bellini and does it say doesn't really say the notes i should have like wrote down some notes and looked it up online or something but this is a peach bellini oh that's really strong <laughs> Um, definitely smell peach. <laughs> um, yeah, this is nice. Not my favorite, it's tooth and teeth. This one, um, ugh, the same, oh, it's the same one. So my, what is this? Oh, this is an antibacterial hand gel. Okay, that's why it looks different. This is not a uh, soap, this is hand gel. And this is soap. This is the peach bellini. Because I knew I smelt this one and I liked it. Because this one's more soft. Well, it's actually pretty citrusy smelling. And we all know I don't like citrus. Um, it's nice. I just, if you like citrus, you'll like it. It's really pretty. I like the way it shines. And then this one is for my brother. For his bathroom, this one is, oh, the cucumber and lily. Uh, I'm not, oh, I got it. Oh, this one's more cucumbery than the um, hand sanitizer. This one actually smells nice. My, my brother will like that, it's not too girly. <laughs> And then we have one of my favorite scents. I had one of their um, sprays, body mists, and this one as well. When it got old and it just started smelling like alcohol more than warm vanilla sugar. I really do like the bottle. Uh, now that smells like vanilla. Yeah, the other one I think was getting too old. And it just started to smell like alcohol. This really, really does smell like vanilla. I love the way that it looks too. It's like almost like a, a multi-chrome. <laughs> if you're talking eyeshadows. But I love how the gel inside looks. It's okay, you guys will probably see it though. Now this one I am keeping in my bathroom. Um, I didn't think that I would like this scent because I don't really like the smell of wine or Merlot. But this one is Black Cherry Merlot. And I actually really like it. It smells like, it just smells like cherry to me. Well, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of a grape soda. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of a grape soda. But yeah, oops, and I'm getting soap everywhere. Oh wow, this one's really leaking. Okay, what happened? Why are you leaking? Vitamin E, shea extract, aloe, and of course essential oils. That's really cool. Bath and Body Works has some pretty good ingredients in their products. But anyways, um, yeah, that is my Bath and Body Works haul, you guys. If you like anything or see something you like, leave a comment down below. Did you hit the um, Bath and Body Works sale? So the candles were, I think, 10% off. They're usually uh, 24 50 and and they were $14 so we got six and I thought it was a really really good deal so I definitely took advantage because who knows how long 
or who knows when the next time we're ever going to go shopping. So, oh, that's so good. We went shopping in an outlet mall, so everything was mainly outside, and um, it was crowded. <laughs> there was a lot of people, but we didn't stay for that long. We got tired. We're just like, okay, I want to go. Can we go now? There's just too many people, but yeah. I just love my new glasses. I feel like the glare is less. The other glasses were just really big and bulky, and the glare was horrible. You can actually see my eyes with these and this is the eye makeup that I have on today but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this haul like I said leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of this crazy hair and um I'll see you guys in the next video bye guys